Hello and welcome to Basic Computer Help. Today I'm going to show you some of the tools and um, stuff you're going to need if you decide to go into the business of computer repair or if you just want to just in case your computer might have a problem. Uh, these are things that I have learned either in the field or I have read about online and later came in handy. Sometimes they come in handy a whole lot more often than people think. Uh, the first thing is always have an extra Cat5 cable and a telephone uh, jack in case they're having network or dial-up issues. You can make sure it's not their wire that's bad by just replacing it. Another thing is always extra computer cables. This doesn't come in as uh, often anymore, but it still does come in handy to have extra computer cables. I don't have any uh, IDE ribbon cables on me anymore. Oh, actually, right now, Th these are serial ATA. Always need a screwdriver for when you need to get that case open to, to either look at or test uh, computer components. Another thing is a power supply tester. This one's a little old but it still works for modern computers. It's a 20 pin Molex uh, so any uh, ATA uh, not ATA, sorry, ATX power supply. Uh, this thing can test, and all the lights will light up if those wires are working. And that green light, not sure if you can see it clearly, will light up if everything's good. At the bottom, what looks like a white LED will actually light up in a reddish color if the power supply is bad. I like to test this every like once a month with a known good power supply just to make sure it's not giving false negatives. Another thing is um, uh, crimpers for category 5 cable. Also it's good to have uh, five, I always go to like Home Depot buy 100 to 500 feet of category 5E cable and the ends for them. It's just good in case they have a bad cable or and you can just make them a new fitted cable for their purpose on the fly. It's quick. Just search online. I'll post I'll post some links in the description on where to find the proper wiring uh, layout for Cat5 cables. Uh, another thing you should have that I just don't have on me right now is a, a USB like pen drive, a flash drive with soft with up to date software like AVG, uh, Adaware, and other tools that your customer might not have up to date, so you can get them up to date without using the internet in case they only have dial up or even no internet at that particular time but are planning on getting internet. <clears throat> couple uh, in about a week I'll post a video with some weird computer repair uh, jobs that I've ever had. If you want you can post comments or video responses describing your weird computer repair. I know if you're in if you're in computer repair for more than two years, you're gonna see some weird stuff. <laughs>